Hi guys and welcome to World Cloud Tutorial developed using Python. If you don't know what this World Cloud is all about, let me just give you a brief introduction of what it's all about. A World Cloud is a data visualization technique and it's used to represent the most frequently appearing world within your text. Okay, that's all a World Cloud is all about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out and let's put together another word cloud for you guys. So I'm going to exit out. First of all, we need to import as follows. And right here, I'm just going to enter the following. Let's say read text from a file. That's one that we're going to be using. Okay, the next one is we're going to create world cloud object with customization and then display the world cloud itself using MATLAB. So you need MATLAB and so on. So as for the MATLAB, here is the data I'm going to be using. So you can read this. You must install MATLAB number pi world cloud as well you have to install those so i'm going to save this file into the directory i intend to save my project as so i'm just going to call that let's say menu so menu yeah that's fine menu.txt save that and uh, we can mi uh, minimize that so let's start with read text from a file so the text we're going to be reading is that of the menu so we say with open i want you to open the menu dot text close that and we also need to read it as well so let's just put r in there as let's say file enter column next say text that is going to be equals file dot read enter parenthesis next we now want to create the word cloud here so with the word cloud i'm going to grab hold of that let's grab hold of all of this word cloud equals word cloud okay now here enter parenthesis within this parenthesis i'm going to define all my Object in here or my width. I will make that about 1200. Enter comma height. I'm going to make that about 700. Comma then the background color. Background color. I'm going to make that black. Comma and maximum maximum word. So I'm gonna make that maybe about 100. You can make it 200, whatever the choice is yours. Then the color color map that is going to be. So that would be equals Viridis. So let's say Viridis. Viridis. Enter comma there. And the contrast or the contour that would be equals color. Let's make that black as well. Or you can change it to whatever you like there. Maybe white or whatever. Comma. And finally, we now need to finalize the whole process right here. We just say dot generate, and that is going to be generate text. This is text here. And right underneath here, we now need to display the word cloud using MATLAB. So we say dot 
figo and that is going to be fig size fig size I'm going to make it 20 by 10 yeah and what else do we need to do plot dot in show and that's going to be word cloud grab all of that dump it there word cloud comma in tab interpolation and that is going to be equals that will be equals bilinear so say bilinear then we will close that up and finally we need to enter the axis as well i'm going to turn that off though axis equals off and plot dot show there we go that is it so let's save this because this file is now saved yes save us we're just going to call that plot number four as a fourth one i'm playing around with okay so let's try it out i missed out a comma here that's fine okay i'm going to save that and we just try it out now let's run there we go look at that you see just like i said so now i'm going to grab all of this my whatever that i put together for how to get it installed let's go put my name in there let's say captain and underneath here I can just put let's say commercial let's say commercial pilot in there I'm going to save that make sure that is saved and that should appear in my world cloud as well okay we can minimize that close this and come back in here run the program again run there we go look at that let's see look at pilot we can see pilot there we can see commercial there and that's my name Owen. and that's paul right there look at that this thing is brilliant so let's exit out and run it one more time click on run check this out guys look at that this is beautiful you can always use this for your own project as well so let me show you guys the lines of code again look at it very simple so with that i will call it the end of this tutorial you all have a nice day now bye for now